Woo. All right, I am stoked for today. Over the years, I've gotten most of the runs I've ever wanted in California, especially a lot of the main multi-days. But as always, like many places, there's always a few more that could be done. And one of the main classic to California that I still have never gotten is Big Kim Shoe. This section looks so sick. I have seen so much footage of this basically my entire life. But unfortunately, normally when I get to California on most years, it's after the season for it is done. Luckily this year I'm here early enough. Luckily it should be at a good level, rallying in with Ben Coleman, Ben Stukesbury, and Jason Hale. Yeah, it's one of those runs I'm so stoked I'm finally going to get on. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Heading to the bottom of the takeout now, meeting up with the crew, and we're in for a sick day. I'm so fired up to finally check this one out. It's going to be sick. Let's go. Nice. Well, unfortunately, pretty much all the roads to get to where we need to be are gated, so we're trying to find some solutions. On to the ATV road. Yeah. You go top top. Hold up. Or not. <laughs> Just, but we are, but we are here. We need to look at the river level. Yeah, we yeah, need to look at it. Yeah, we're regardless. gonna burn a day. Because I mean, sending it. Is that the plan? I think so. Got to about a little over two miles, or right around two miles on the road from where the little Kim shoe is. So we're gonna hike in, see what the water levels are doing. These guys think it might be a little high to go put on, but we're gonna take the chance, hike in. Fingers crossed that we'll get the little Kim shoe. They'll think it looks good. And we'll put on and have a sick day, but definitely a chance we could get in there and potentially have to hike out, but that's how it goes sometimes. So we're gonna go check it out. Fingers crossed we get to the water, it'll look good, and we'll put on. Oh, oh the bear prints, eh? How are we looking? Hard to tell. Fair. Doesn't look absurd, absurd, no. That's always a, a great way to feel good about it. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't, know, doesn't look absurd, absurd. It just looks absurd. Nice little walk in. I've never been here, so I can't tell from the flow. See what these guys say, but even if it's a little juicy in there, we've all got high volume, high rocker boats, so should be good. No, but to the island, if we just had to hike directly back upstream, yeah, because you know, like from the it's island, be two you can miles hike up. back to yeah, but not training for a marathon. No, <laughs> but you're, you're you're in the beast of beast mode. I'm like, I'm like, oh, we get so so Hey, you were the one that was like, we should go down and check should, it out. We should. Let's go. Let's put on. Let's do this. Let's Let's go. Go. Let's Has go. Hale ever led any of us astray? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so basically, the consensus ended up being that it's definitely not low. So we're gonna paddle this first few miles. Then we'll get to a point where we'll have a better sense of the first rapids of the flows and hike out if it's too hot. Yeah, first slide looks runnable, but pretty much goes right into big stout that is not runnable. <laughs> For the first time in five years, I completely forgot my elbow pads, but luckily Coleman had an extra set. I would have been sad without elbow pads for this run. Well, there's water. Any initial thoughts? <laughs> Love that. Fluffy. Like I said, we got high volume boats with a lot of rocker. <laughs> we made it to the confluence. Good news is, Ben doesn't think it looks obscene, which is always a good sign. <laughs> Looks like we're moving on. Okay, 
than I intended, but I really just wanted to air it out. Then I did. <laughs> Thank you. 
question is, is there a lot you'd have to commit to and be fucked or is it more that we might have to do some shitty port again? Yeah, we might have to do some shitty port again. Like that's, that's the worst case scenario. We're not like walled in down here or anything, right? For me, if the worst case is port again, I'm, I'm okay with it, but I don't know the run, so it's up to you guys. Word, the word of hail goes, why would you ever leave the final decision to him? You know, he's just going to tell you what you want to hear, which is, let's do it. <laughs> Alright, so we finished the kimchi. Got to the confluence, it still looks kind of high, but these boards are feeling it should be good. Now we're heading into Secret Stash, which is supposed to be, I think, a little wider, more Boulder Garden. Let's go get out some sick stuff. So check it out. Pretty high. Yeah. <laughs> this looks pretty fresh. Yeah, that, that looks new, yeah. So like, I mean, this doesn't even have moss on it. No. I'm guessing people clipped up in the summer here. It looks like a pretty fresh ladder, which is good because this old rope one looks janky. like a foot too short to get to it. Zooming around, live baiting, nudge my hand, cut the rope. Glad it worked. Definitely not sure if my rope got stuck on under this wall. It's a bit of a bummer, it's a brand new rope, but I had to cut it. So now I'm gonna steal launch Ben in. He's gonna go cut my rope again in the middle, but he's gonna save his bag because losing one bag is better than losing two. Um, which direction do you want to go off? I'll give a little edge. Like okay. Three, 
two, one, go! Up, up, up! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! That was not as ideal with the rope there, but it was our only spot we could get back in to not lose two legs. Well, that was fun. Now we can keep moving. <laughs> Oh, that was fantastic. That was so epic. Still funny get that run. Great day. That was great. Good day, man. That was, yeah, that was so good. good. Thanks for having yeah, yeah. That was... Yeah. I felt fun. like knowing the line now. I'd have no problem going back into there with those clothes. Yeah. yeah. All right, load up and go let our SOs know that we're we not moving this one. That we're all good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was an epic day. Kim Shu definitely lived up to the hype. So many of the drops that I'd seen so much footage of growing up. Just as epic as I imagined, but there was so much in there that I've never seen. So many slides, booths, sick rapids. Yeah, that was super dope. So stoked to finally check that out, and it was an epic day. Although we did have one unfortunate moment for the day. Unfortunately, that helicopter that we did see above us toward the end of Secret Stash was there for us. Hale did have his new iPhone on him. And when he ran Frenchie, that like perfect 35 footer that I boofed. For those that don't know, the iPhone has a feature now where if the phone is moving and then there's a very hard, abrupt, sudden stop, like running a waterfall, the phone will register it as a car crash and then it'll send out like an SOS to the nearby authorities, which is what happened to Hale, unfortunately. His phone registered as a car crash, it pinged as an SOS, and it alerted the two local sheriff department and prompted a search and rescue with the heli. And the only reason we're made aware of this is that as we got to the bottom of Secret Stash through the bridge and the rangers just happened to pull up right around that time. And as we were about to go under the bridge, they were like, are you Dane? And I was like, yeah. Well, there's a search and rescue currently in progress. And we were like, what is going on? And after talking to them, they were like, there was an SOS pinged right at Frenchie, basically registering as a car crash. And Hale pulled out his phone and his phone was going crazy. Local sheriffs had to get into it. There was a search and rescue with the helicopter. And when talking to the rangers, they were like, we've been talking to one of your brothers or brother-in-law, Nick, which meant that he was talking to Nick. And I was like, wow, how deep does this go? How many people know about it? And how many people are freaking out at the moment? But luckily, they were super nice talking to them. They were super understanding. We felt terrible, but they were super nice about it. Luckily, we were able to talk to them and explain that obviously we're all good. And they were able to let everyone else know the word spread quickly. But... But yeah, we definitely felt terrible that there's this whole search and rescue operation for simply the phone taking that impact of the waterfall. And also all of our significant others and family members being very concerned. But yeah, for anyone that has a new iPhone, highly recommend turning off that feature if you're going to bring your phone on the water. Not the first time this has happened at Green Race last year. I guess the fire department went in like two or three times because the phones kept registering its impact. So highly recommend turning off this feature when you're on the water to not have any misunderstandings like we had. In the end, still a fantastic day. Super stoked to finally get to check out that section. It was it fully delivered, and I cannot wait to get back into there. That was a sick day. Really looking forward to hopefully getting on that run again. Whatever else the rest of the summer brings. Stoked. Let's go.